greetings. Just want to remind you what the scriptures tell us. That our times are in God's hands. That he's the one who changes times and seasons. As we get ready to close off one year. And move into a new year, a new decade. Of course, there is anticipation, there is expectation. There are things that we are praying about, considering and so on. And uh, in the midst of all of this, we are taking time this week to emphasize traditions. Learning to hold on to godly traditions. And then, of course, being willing to let go of traditions that do not uh, have much value. I want to remind us of what the Apostle Paul wrote in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 6. He says, But we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you withdraw from every brother who walks disorderly and not according to the tradition which you received from us. So, the Apostle Paul is commanding the believers. So this is a command that is given to us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Meaning he's saying, look, I'm speaking on behalf of Jesus to the church, to believers. And the instruction or the command here is very clear. He says, withdraw yourself from people who walk disorderly. Now, what does it mean? What is he referring to being disorderly? That means you're not in line. You're out of line, you're out of order, but in what sense? He says, they are not walking according to the tradition, that is the teaching which that was delivered through the, the apostles. So even today, you know, when we find people, sometimes they could be people of the church, and that's what Paul's referring to every brother. That means they're people from the church who are walking disorderly, they've now gone out of order, they've gone out of line from the teaching of the scripture. And Paul says, you know, withdraw yourself. That means you separate yourself. You don't join that gang. You don't join that group. You don't get in line with them. You get out of line. You, you stay away from them. And you remain aligned to the traditions, meaning the teaching that was delivered to us by the leaders or the apostles of the church. So today, even if there is a movement from within the church that is disorderly, that is out of alignment to the traditions and the teaching of scripture, we are commanded by the Lord Jesus to withdraw and stay true to the teaching of the scripture. These are traditions we cannot let go. We are commanded to stay with the traditions that we have received, the teaching of the scripture that we have received. I want to invite you to do the same. It's a command from Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Lord, we ask that you'll give us discernment, help us to recognize deviations, what is disorderly, what is misaligned or out of alignment, to the traditions of scripture and help us to stay true to you, Lord Jesus. Help us to walk aligned to your truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.